Hey guys, this is Trent. Um, you can see on my 24 inch external monitor that I still have iMovie up after completing my Google Nexus One review, but um, I have been distracted by something else recently. I am faced with the prospect of downloading um, the manual update to 2.2 Froyo onto my Nexus One device. And um, I was hesitant to do it throughout the day and I was luckily um, occupied with having to complete this Google Nexus One review. But now that I'm finished with that, um, I've decided to go ahead and take the plunge and um, do the manual update to my Nexus One. And I am using this website, htcsource.com, as a resource to help me with the manual install. And I'm pretty confident that I should be able to have a pretty flawless install of Android 2.2 onto my handset. All right, you can see here that my current build number for my Nexus One is the ERE27 build, and it has not been rooted, thank goodness, which means I could take advantage of this zip file uh, manual update. And then right above it, you will see that I am currently running the uh, 2.1 firmware version on my handset. So after I download this update, everything should, of course, be different. Okay, first thing is to, of course, download the zip file directly to your computer. And I have done that, and you can see that it's right there. This particular article on the Engadget website happened to have a download link for the zip file. Okay, I have now connected my Nexus One handset directly to my Mac computer, and you will see a sign of this by the USB icon in the taskbar. What I have to do next is then mount the memory card directly to my Mac desktop. And any moment now, the icon for the memory card should pop up on my screen. Yep, and there it is. And right now I'm going to take this zip file and drag it into the card. All right, everything appears to be going smoothly, so I'm going to now eject the card to get ready to unmount it. So I'm going to have to hold down this side of the rocker key while powering on the phone again. I've pressed it. Oh crap, look at this. Now that I've pressed the power button while holding down this part of the rocker key for volume down, these uh, text menus have appeared on the upper left-hand corner of the screen, along with some dancing Android symbols at the bottom here with skateboards. Pretty neat. And I am now on recovery, and I'm going to right now press the power button again, according to the directions. All right, I've pressed it, and it looks like the phone is restarting. All right, now that I've pressed the volume up button along with the power button, upon seeing the triangle with the Android symbol, I have another text menu that appears here. And the next thing that I need to do, according to the instruction, is to select Apply SD Card Update Zip from the menu. And the way to do that is to use the trackball to highlight and then click it to select. So I need to select Apply SD Card Update and then click the trackball to select it, and I've done that. And we appear to be going through the install.
Alright, it appears to be taking its time a lot longer than usual, which is to be expected, I guess, with such a major update. Oh, here we go. It appears to have restarted. Wi-Fi has kicked in, T-Mobile service has kicked in, everything looks normal. Um, I'm going to go ahead and unlock the phone. Okay. Whoa! Yeah, uh, guys, it is obvious that I have downloaded Froyo. You can see here that there are some cosmetic changes to the home screen. There are uh, two new icons on either side of the uh, menu icon. There's the, uh, there's a phone icon, and then there is a globe, which I assume stands for the browser. And then there's a totally different look to the uh, Google taskbar as well. All right, we're going to go into my settings and scroll down to whoa okay just now I mean this the scrolling action right now seems a bit faster if I'm not mistaken this is wow this is crazy uh, wow uh, All right, you can see here that my build number on my Nexus one is now FRF50 and my Android version it has been updated to 2.2 uh, one more thing I do want to check for is that I do remember hearing about the um, Wi-Fi tethering uh, option to Froyo. And I'm going to, I assume it would be under wireless and networks. Um, if I, yes, I've got tethering and a portable hotspot. Yes. Sorry, guys. Uh, this is exciting. Having this alone uh, makes all the difference with my Nexus One. And I can tell you guys right now that... I'm definitely never letting go of the of the Nexus One. Flash Player 10.1 Beta. Go ahead and install. YouTube. What? <laughs> oh man, this is awesome. Hey guys, this is Trent. I have decided to do something a little bit different and shoot outside since it's such a nice day. And do something a little bit different and shoot outside since it's such a nice day. And um, you can see that I am. All right, guys, I have to say that. Um, Wow, I am thoroughly impressed so far with Froyo. Um, I am definitely never letting go of this Nexus One at all. Wow, this is too cool for words. I, I just, oh, I guys, to finally have Flash on my device through the browser when I've been so used to having it only on Nokia. And to also have USB tethering along with a Wi-Fi hotspot option, this Nexus One device is going to be my baby for life. I'm telling you guys, this is, whew, whoa. If you haven't gotten yourself a Nexus One by now to have the updated 2.2 Android OS, you are missing out. I really have to say that. I... That may be the Android fanboy speaking out right now, but I can't help it. Android 2.2 Froyo is the top-notch thing going on right now, even though it is almost 4 in the morning. This is too cool for words. Guys, with all of that being said, this is Trent for Trent Sense, and you guys take care and stay safe. Android all the way.